Okay, uh... Two Metroid games in progress, yet I'm already starting another one. Instead of, uh, finishing the previous ones. Good for me. Well, Super Metroid's giving me difficulty because, uh, the controls are not working with this controller I got, so... Might require some things to fix, but... Yeah, this one is... A safe bet, I think. This was a safe bet. And my Pokemon walkthrough will continue, but I realize some people want something a bit more entertaining to watch someone play. So, um, I'm going with this. I'm gonna go with easy, just so we don't push ourselves. This is a very easy game compared to some Metroid that's cake. I won't bother reading that. On this one, I'm really going to take farm. I'm going to try to get to the end and uh, have my second complete walkthrough. Because I realize Pokemon's not for anyone. Well, some people are pretty be being pretty rude in the comments telling other people with different opinions to go to hell. Well, um, people have opinions, and uh, you have to respect that. Everyone's an individual, and not everyone's going to agree. That's what make, that's what's fun about being human. You can make your own decisions. Well, I know this game all too well because I played it so many times. Out of all Metroid games, I've probably beaten this the most. Probably because I just love to take it with me on the go and do a run. It's quite short and quite easy. It, it's a remake of the original Metroid, except it goes a bit further than some remakes. It doesn't just update the graphics; it really revamps the gameplay. Stupid bug. Butt munch. I haven't said that in a while. If you look at my Link's Awakening video, I use all sorts of words like butt munch, butt dumpling, butt dingle, uh, fart knocker. But I never really use those words anymore. I need to use them more often. I just got back from work and I should probably head to bed soon because I have work again tomorrow. Won't be till the afternoon, so I might be fine. I'm in no rush. I'll get enough. This game tells you everywhere you're supposed to go. I mean, there's no, uh... Hey, uh... It never says, hey, figure things out on your own, like Super Metroid did. This just tells you where the heck you're supposed to go. For some people, that's good. It makes it more ac accessible for the portable crowd, but... Overall, it's... Well, it's not a bad game. People's main complaint was that it told you everything. And exploration is what people liked in the past ones. Yeah, the controls work with this a lot better than Super Metroid. Both on my computer, because the controller actually works with this. And with, uh, when playing it on the Game Boy, and it's a lot, feels a lot smoother. Much more fun to play. Well, not fun, easy. This isn't a speed run, but I'm gonna try to get through this quickly. And when you want to get through something quickly, you've got to try not to fall. Don't fight when fighting's not necessary. Long beam. It's really long. That sounded gay. Which I am not, but have nothing against. The world is full of different people, colorful and fond of musical theater. I've played through this way too many times, so I know things very easily. I'm using a Xbox 360 controller as usual to play through this. Gotta see this first. But uh, it feels smooth and it really suits most any game. In case you're wondering how I'm playing a 360 controller on a Game Boy Advance game, I'm using a, pro a program that emulates the Game Boy Advance, and uh, and I'm using a 360 controller because some with the right attachments can connect to the computer. I have kind of a, a devotion and uh, great respect for the companies that make these things, so I only do walkthroughs of games that I already own on their respected systems. I mean, a lot of people worked hard on this. I 
I'm not one of those people who just uses emulators all the time and just never buys the games, because, eh, seems kind of cheap and sneaky. Please don't take me the wrong way. I'm, if you do like to do that, no problem, but it's not for me. It's, uh... Don't have the missiles yet. I'm gonna make a habit of saving regularly, but you die so little in this game, you don't really need to save. It's pretty easy. I should just make a video giving all the up-to-date status on my all, my all my other walkthroughs. This room is shaking. There's a big worm in here. Tremors! I got myself some missiles. Get out of my way, butt munch. If you miss this guy, too many times you get the charge beam. You have to beat him. If you don't beat him and fail every fight, you don't get a charge beam by the end of the game, which sucks. Because it's a really good weapon. But it shouldn't be too hard to get a charge beam. Shooting the spikes drops missiles. Come on. Got him. It only takes three hits. His eyeball comes off. It's kind of gross. Icky. <laughs> charge beam. It's a beam you can charge. I'm getting hurt a couple times. I'm sacrificing health for speed. Ah, oh, forget it. Ugh. Really sucks when you don't have the... Okay, now you're ticking me off, you spiked beetles. They're called zoomers. You picture a zoomer as something that's really fast, but these things aren't fast at all. They're more skitterers. That name suits it better. I should, uh... Call Nintendo, ask them to rename it. I think they've renamed monsters before. I mean, they changed the color of Jinx to Pokemon because people thought it was racist. Man, some people just search for... Oops, that was stupid, I wasted missiles. I'm used to old school Metroids where you have it takes five missiles to open all those doors. Seriously, people look for racism too hard. It's like they religiously watch every program to find something to call racist. It's kind of stupid. Like those people screaming about the Resident Evil 5 trailer, it's racist. No, it isn't. It isn't. Now, if in Resident Evil 5 they were using... They were filling a mine full of Kentucky Fried Chicken and... Tupac CDs, then blowing all the zombies up, that would be racist. But it's not. More missiles. Missile tank acquired. Don't be racist, kids. We're all beautiful in our own way. Especially Japanese women. Man, some of them are gorgeous. Even the non anime variety. You know, I'm gonna spend till my bedtime doing this in the morning, process all the videos, and then upload them to YouTube, because you guys are long overdue for loads of videos. I've, uh, been busy. You know, the holiday season, going out rushing. I've also been playing some games. I might be playing some games some more when I get them for Christmas and getting some DVDs. I already know some of the stuff I'm getting. But, um, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more stuff up. I should set apart a time of my day just to do these. Oops, I don't have the... Do I have the high jump yet? Let me check my map. No, I don't have the high jump. I gotta get up there somehow. I think I've done this before. Can't get up there. Hold on. Ugh. 